With Prezi's desktop application, you can present your ideas anywhere, anytime. And if you're a pro user, you can create and edit offline too. First, you'll need to download and install the application. Visit the Prezi application page and click Download. Windows users, find the .exe file and follow the instructions. If you're using a Mac, once the file has finished downloading, click and drag the icon into the Applications folder. Then, find it on your computer and double-click the icon to open. When you first open Prezi, you'll need to log into your account. Or if you'd like, you can log in with Facebook. Once you've logged in, you'll see thumbnails for all your Prezi's. You can sort your Prezi's by clicking Show All Prezi's. Choose from your entire library, only those owned by you, or just the ones that others have shared with you. If the thumbnails are greyed out, your Prezi's have not yet been downloaded to your computer. To sync a Prezi with your computer, hover over a thumbnail and then click Download. After it's finished downloading, you can present it offline. Be aware that if you download a shared Prezi and someone makes changes to it, you'll need to click Refresh. If you're a pro user, you can edit the Prezi by clicking Edit on the thumbnail. Pro users can also start creating a new synced Prezi by clicking New Synced Prezi. These Prezi's will automatically be synced with Prezi.com, unless you're working offline. In that case, they'll be created as local Prezi's and saved only on your computer. Over on the left, you'll see all of your folders from Prezi.com. If you want to create a new folder, just click New Folder, give it a title, and then hit Enter. If you're working offline, your folders will not be editable. And if you want to share your folder with another person, you'll need to do so via Prezi.com. If you only want to create a Prezi that's saved on your computer, first click All Local Prezi's and then New Local Prezi. Here you can also see all of your Prezi's that are saved only on your computer. Prezi's on your computer are private and can only be viewed by you. With Prezi for Windows or Mac, you can also import Prezi's right from your hard drive. If you import a Prezi that's already on Prezi.com or that you've previously imported, you'll see a pop-up like this. You can either open your Prezi and then edit or present, or import it as a new Prezi. If you want to sync a Prezi from your computer, click on the Options icon and then select Sync with Prezi.com. You also have a few other options to choose from. If you want to rename a Prezi, hover over the title and click the pencil icon. When you're ready, hit the Enter key. You can also move a Prezi into a folder by first clicking the folder icon and then check the folder or folders that you'd like the Prezi to be in. When you click the Options icon, you can export to a portable Prezi for presenting to anyone offline or export as a PES file so others with Prezi installed on their computer can view and edit your work. You can also copy the Prezi.com URL to your clipboard or make a copy of your Prezi. When you make a copy, the copy will only be saved on your computer. If you need to, you can also delete your Prezi. If you decide to delete a Prezi, be aware that it will be removed from both Prezi.com and your computer. Whenever you're working in Prezi for Windows or Mac, remember to click Refresh to make sure you're working with the latest version of your Prezi, and so all of your work stays synced. In the bottom left corner, you'll see your avatar. When you click on it, you can check your account status, upgrade your account, or you can just log out. Now start working with Prezi offline.